All right. Hello, my magnificent bastards. It's me, Tech 3. And Space Engineers is in beta. So, I'm going to restart the whole survival thing. And this time, it's probably going to be a little better, maybe? Because, guess this, I'm also on a new computer, which can probably be tell told by the fact that I've managed to get out an Overwatch video. Ha da da da! Anyways. So, uh... Yeah, there's been a major update. It looks nice. I've got a new computer. It's technically a laptop, but based on the specs comparison, it's actually a lot more powerful than my desk desktop, which is... a shame. But, you know. Gotta do the things. But, I figured... Why the fuck not? So, let's get into the new game system. Loading, please wait. Alright. This is the uh, campaign menu, by the way. Uh, I figure I'll do that sometime in the future. Probably when it's not uh, being done to death. Custom game. Alright. So, this time since I'm finally able to do it. I'm gonna start here. Star system. And we're going to rename it. Star system survival YouTube. So I know it's before my YouTube, because I like to do this a lot, you know, on my own time. And then, realistic, because I know you guys like your realistic shit. Block limits? Fuck that. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Normal, because, you know, need to have some kind of hostility. Mods. Hmm. I don't think I have any download on this computer yet, so... Uh, advanced. Hmm, inventory size. How big? I'm just gonna leave these alone. I don't want to fiddle with that right now. Uh, day duration, take that down to an hour, because two hours is a bit long. 30 minutes day, 30 minutes night, that'll work. Enable spectator, because sometimes you just need to check some shit. Uh, everything else looks good. Ugh. I've been a bit snot nose lately. So, if you hear a bit of sniffling, that's it. Okay. Let's get going. Wait, no wait. World generator. I need to keep you high so when I get into space I have resources. Okay. And... Begin. To go places and do things that have never been done before. And that's what living is all about. Michael Collins. Alright. BRB All right. Here we are. Where the hell am I? This is not right. Where is my gear? Hang on, let me suicide real quick. I need the respawn screen. Okay, here we are. Now, I always like to restart to start on Mars, because Mars is, well, it's not very hostile, to be honest. And, well, it's a good start, just to get some resources. Give it a second. Mm. Here we are. Okay. So, what's the hell here? Aha. Now, you see, this is the Atmospheric Lander Mark 1. Not really much has changed for this motherfucker. 
since the update, except for, well, you know, new textures and shit. But just look how amazing that shit looks. It's beautiful. And there's, there I am, just sitting in the cockpit. I'm gonna turn off inertial dampeners for a second. Saves power, and you keep going down for a while. Because atmosphere doesn't really start till 2,500 meters in the air or something like that. And to be honest, that's still very high in the air. So I'm just going to wait till I'm within a thousand meters and then I'll start my controlled descent. All right. That worked out perfectly. Down some more. And uh, go down some more. And uh, down some more. And uh, down some more. And uh, alright, we are 82 81 meters in the air. First things first, we want to get over to a dark spot. Because that's usually where you're going to find a good many resources on planets. The, mm, sorry, the dark spots on planets' surfaces are usually a bit more resource rich. Oh, and this one's good. This one's good. We have uranium, a very important resource. Oh, and gold too, and plenty of iron, looks like. Balance out a bit. Got some silicon over there too. Let's okay, rise as far as level ish. Going down. Preparing for planetary contact. Roughly 20 meters up. And contact. Turn that off, and then... Much better. Okay. Welcome to Mars. It's a wonderful place, but you don't exactly want to get lost here. You die. I just want to get some oxygen going for a second. And because I know the tanks are full, but I always do this because just having it do it over and over again every time you uh, open and close the door, that's a very easy way to go through all your ice for oxygen so I would recommend depressurizing putting your helmet right back on it's not going to depressurize because the tanks are full I mean there's nowhere for the oxygen already out to go into so we're gonna have to sacrifice some air in order to get the fucking door open anyways um, here's something to note uh, scouting priorities locate a source of ice for oxygen and hydrogen fuel. We'll do that later, but you know, other stuff's important too. Survey for ore deposits. Already did that. Good many around us. Identify a suitable base location. That's going to be the hard part because I need to find somewhere that's rich with resources, plenty of ice everywhere, and is stable and easy to build on. And then, finally, avoid Pirate 4 facilities, which I'm pretty sure um, on Star System, you don't really have those facilities in range of you when you spawn. So, for the time being, those are nothing to worry about. Wait, there was another LCD screen. Should I read that? Probably. Um, construction priorities. Build solar powers panels to provide renewable power. That's one of the first things I always do, but uranium is still good because I have a reactor. Construct a suitable base. Mm, we'll have to scout out a location for that. Build additional refineries and assemblers. No fucking shit, and that always takes forever, so we'll put that off till we have a fucking base. Design and build a combat craft to def for defense purposes. That's what turrets are for. I never really need a craft for that shit. I just use the same ship I have and heavily fucking armor it. 
that's pretty much what I always do. Alright, component storage. These cargo containers hold basic tools, ammunition, and enough components to build six solar panels, two batteries, one flight seat. Also enough steel plates to make an armor block platform. Yeah, okay. Anyways. Sacrifice! Don't want to turn on my jetpack. Hydrogen fuel is, you know, rare-ish. Okay. Now. We've got stuff to do. And one of the first things we should do is for when the sun finally decides to come up. Whenever that may be. And, uh, just gonna repair that real quick. It's heavy armor, so... Okay. And that's gonna be the s to build the s fucking solar panels. Which is kind of important. I don't need you right now. And I don't need you right now. Alright. Solar. There. Hang on, what does it take to build a solar panel? I forget. G menu! Hurry up. Okay. <clears throat> It takes bulletproof glass, solar cell, computer grid. No, wait, that's a small ship. Solar cell, computer, large steel tube, construction components, steel plates for large ships and stations. It takes less to build it on a station. What the fuck? Even though it's like a hell of a lot bigger? That doesn't make much sense, but okay. Alright, where'd the other thing go? Alright. Uh, steel plates and construction components are going to make up the bulk of it. <coughs> I'm going to take like 10 of these. I forget how many I need. Anyways, I only need 6 of you. And then the rest can be filled with these motherfuckers. I can only hold so many of them at a time though. Alright. Alright. Gotta do this quick. Conserve, 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 conserve! That went well. Oh no, something else I'm gonna have to do is hotkey these to the control panel down there. So whenever the hell I land, I'll just turn them off so I don't have to worry about them. Anyways. Eight. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, they'll do. Okay. Oh, I'm crouched. Uh, that's why I'm moving slow. But hey, I need to. Okay, and then you have like... There. Okay. Something else I always end up doing is putting some on the side here. Which I need to do jetpack for, because whenever the sun comes up, it's coming up at an angle, you know. So, have some on the sides, so it can even collect power then. And notice, I went through a little less than half my hydrogen fuel just doing that. Which show, goes to show how quickly you can use that up. And, uh, which is going to be a problem. But, hey, that's what this is for. It's a med bay. You can refuel shit here. And I love that sound. I hope they never change it. Because it is amazing. I love it. Uh, mmm, batteries. Yeah, okay. Next thing's next. More hydrogen fuel has to be used to get up. Something else I'm going to have to figure out is which way the sun will be facing when it does come up. So I can angle my ship to have these solar panels that won't like um, I'm welding one of them up now. The side ones. To be facing towards the um, sunrise and sunset whenever the hell that does happen. Usually I'll mostly be walking around, <clears throat> by the way. And eventually I'm going to put pistons on the side of this ship so I can just sort of... with drills on them, you know? 
just so I can tell them, hey, go down, and they'll go down, and then I'll have tons of resources. It'll be amazing. All right, let's get going. Looks like the sun is going to rise soon. Good thing. Of course, I want to have these ready by then. So obviously, I'll have a good bit of power in the day if this works out right. Ugh, I'm terrible. Ugh. All right, this one's next. And I need more components for that. Let's dump the rest of these components that are necessary in here. Okay, how many do I have left? Not that much. I can now go down. And uh, here. And just put everything else away and use all of my inventory space for the solar cells. It's still not enough to get them all done, but hey, well, I don't think they're enough. Okay, it'll be enough to get like two done, at least. <coughs> mm, I hate that. Must endure. Alright, next. This is amazing content. I don't like cutting. <clears throat> but hey, that's what you do. I'm going to record for 15 minutes in this clip. And it's coming close to 14 minutes. Alright, next one. Okay, did have enough cells to get this bit done. That's good to know. Alright. That's good. It's already got green spot. That means there's some solar source around here. Okay. Good thing I'm wearing a spacesuit. Oh, okay. Now, I think that's a good start. Why is my mouse not responding anymore? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Okay. Okay. So I think that's a good start for this. <clears throat> So next part is I'm just going to mine, which is even more boring, so I'm just going to leave this clip here, and maybe edit it in with the, some of the next clip. Alright, be right back. Alright, status update. I'm in a deep as fuck hole. Found some uranium. Yeah, uranium. Power. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And to be honest, my character is picking this up without any concern for standard protocol for handling radioactive materials, which uranium very well is. I mean, I know he's wearing a spacesuit, which deflects solar winds, but, um, yeah. This is kind of, you know, dangerous for him. And if y'all are wondering how, why I keep calling him him, and any feminazi is thinking, it may be a she. No, it's not. When you open the helmet and look in, it's a bearded dude. So, yeah. I mean, they spent most of their time doing the actual gameplay when they made the game. For any of you that are thinking that, it's sexist. So... You can get uh, female models, but you'll just have to download a skin pack completely free off the Steam Workshop. And I have done that m many, many times. I'm just not using it right now. Because I'm going to try and keep it vanilla for this for a while now. Just so, you know, the game runs smoothly.
All right, guys. I just came out of this hole, and I have a full inventory of uranium. 10.7 kilograms, pretty much. And now, with the sun finally up, I'm going to stick this in the refinery. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! It's beautiful. It's always a good idea to keep uranium in the first slot of your refinery whenever you're not really in need of doing any major resource refining to get other stuff done. You know, when you're just doing scouting stuff like I'm doing now. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just doing my own thing. And I think I'm gonna leave it off here for the first episode after I've revamped my supplies in my suit. Alright. Okay, so I'm pretty good with uh, leaving it here. There's a moon over there, I just realized. Beautiful. So. Yeah. I'm just gonna... You know what? Before we go... Before we go... Control panel. Thrusters! Uh, select all of you. Group you together as... At mo... Underscore... Thrust. Thrust. Rust. There we go. Uh huh. And save. Show block in toolbar config? No. Show block in terminal? No. Okay, there you go. Group together. Now you go to the G menu, you go to groups. Yes, snag this mofo. And you tell it toggle block on and off, then you hit the 9 and you save and power! Control, control panel, and I don't need a freaking beacon. That takes up a lot of power, too. Okay. Another thing I want to do next episode, probably, you know, got a freaking antenna on top of this mofo, so I can see where the hell these ore deposits are, because this uh, thing has an ore detector with a range of like 200 whatever meters which is great and then my uh, hand drill has a range of like 50 meters which is pathetic I know that's actually pretty far in reality if this were real life but you know this is not real life Ugh. so it's actually quite a short distance in game which is dumb but hey what can you do planets are huge Anyways, I'd like to thank you magnificent bastards for watching this episode. And I will see you again in some other shitty ass video if you're still watching this crap. Get the fuck out of my sight now.